when you read the scenes, there's a journey in there. Um, and then I've got to try and find a way to achieve what's on the page and then make it interesting. You choreograph all this real action, and then I'm thinking, OK, how safe can I make it? I can put a wire on them and desell them. I can bury a mat. You know, we're trying to create this really dynamic frame of action. We'd love to go home at the end of the day and, you know, no one's paid any kind of price for it. Action for you. OK, there will be a background action first, guys. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Yeah. We burn more people than anybody else, basically. And there is a bit of mental preparation goes into these things, but it's really controlled. It's a real process. We do lots of rehearsals where we put the masks on people, walk to where we were going to do the burn with their hands on the shoulder, their safety guys, and we line them all up. We then really methodically practice what, like, what we would call like our fire dance, which is uh, when you are then set on fire, the, the route you take in the scene to where you then lie down to be extinguished by the safety guys. 12, 13, 14, 15, out, out, out. Safety precautions are really experienced. We have guys covering them at all times. We only burn them for 15 seconds because uh, that ensures that we're not going to have any significant heat transfer. They wear three layers of Nomex underwear. It won't burn, it won't melt like a man-made fabric. Um, that's soaked in a fireproof gel we put into a, a fridge, and so that's taken down to almost freezing. Then they put on a thin rain suit over the top, then a fire suit on top of that, then a boiler suit to protect the fire suit, and then the costume. So there's quite a few layers going on. The latex mask that's on your face has got a really small hole that you have to breathe through, because obviously when you're on fire, you bite down on that and that stops any fumes or flame coming through the mask. The, the aim of it is to be really calm, really relaxed, get your heart rate down, just listen to every single word Rowley's saying, because uh, if you do, then the shot will work and everything will be fine. The show just, just keeps getting bigger. We did 73 full fire burns during Loot Train. We did 20 in one shot. That was a record for TV. We didn't do it wantonly to set a record. I was aware of it, obviously, um, and everyone likes that. But, uh, you know, it was for the shot. That was the shield wall and everyone getting hit. So it had a purpose, not just a record. The cut! It is a little stressful, but with all stunt work, um, it's, you, it's about harnessing that stress and channeling it, you know, that kind of energy. Fear is really good. Fear will keep you safe, but you need to just channel that fear and use that energy to, to achieve what you want to achieve. Yeah. Happy days. I wanted to finish it. There was no way I was not going to come back for season eight, you know, but I think the story is nearly ready to be completely told. Um, so that's so it's mixed. So it's a little bit it's tinged with a little bit of sadness, but proud that I've been part of it for four years. You know, I've done half of it, um, and, I, and I've enjoyed every moment of it. You know, so um, I will always look back on this very fondly. Yeah.